Burpee Home Gardens is a proud supporter of the Edible Garden. Visit Shop in the Garden to purchase plants and seeds or burpeehomegardens.com for more information. Welcome to the New York Botanical Garden. My name is Sonia Eiderhoven and I'm here in the Home Gardening Center. Today I'm enjoying the beautiful weather with my colleagues, preparing for the summer-long exhibition, The Edible Garden. We're starting to sow seeds for our summer vegetable garden. Today we'll be sowing seeds, but before we do, we need to talk a little bit about soil preparation. Now it's very important to make sure that your soil's not too dry or too moist. So take a handful, squeeze it into a ball, and tap it and see if it falls apart. If it falls apart gently, as it just did, the soil's in perfect condition to plant. If it crumbles and it's very dry, it's too dry to sow your seeds. So water it and come back the next day and plant your garden. And of course, if it's too wet and it stays in a nice tight clump, wait a few days and then sow your garden. It's early spring, so today we're sowing a cool season crop and we're sowing radishes, which come up in about five days, three days or so if the weather's nice, um, and they'll be ready to eat in about 30 days. Now what I've done here is I've taken a line and I've tied it with bamboo stakes to measure my row. The first thing we need to do is to make a furrow. And there's many ways you can do it. You can take your trowel or your knife and make a furrow here. With radishes, radishes like to be planted about half an inch deep, maybe a quarter inch deep. You can also make the furrow with your finger. And some people actually just take a small piece of wood and they take it and just wiggle it around and draw a line, and this way you have a nice visible furrow here. Either way, it's perfectly fine. So now that you've made your furrow, how do you sow your seeds? Well, if you look at it, the radish seeds are medium-sized seeds, so they're fairly easy to sow by hand. Now you can sow them one by one, so remember half an inch deep and about an inch apart, and I can just sow it individually but that takes a long time. So another thing that you can do, which is very easy, is you can take your seed packet, crease it on the side, and you'll have a nice V here, and you can slowly tap it out. And a nice easy trick, if you have a salt shaker, is to try and adjust it so that just a few seeds fall out and gently shake it along your row. So now that the seeds are planted, all you have to do is cover over the furrow, and you can do this with a rake, or it's very simple to do with your hands. And make sure you pat it down, sort of tamp it down slightly, and the reason why you do that is that you need to have the seeds in good, so in good contact with the soil. Now that we've sown our seeds, we have two, two more important steps left to do. One is to make a label so that you know what you've sowed, but also to put the sowing date on. And it's a good way to track if your seeds are germinating properly. If it's hot weather and we're, we have nice warm weather right now, the seeds will germinate in just a few days. In cool weather, it will take a little bit longer. So remember to mark a label here and just stick it down. It's also extremely important to remember to water your seeds. They won't germinate unless you give them good moisture. So take a watering can, have a rose on it so that you don't have too much water pressure and just go over and really drench them in. It's very important to keep the soil nice and moist while the seeds are germinating. So we're back at the radish bed and it's one week later and you can see that these seeds that I sowed last week have germinated beautifully. We've had all the nice warm weather and they came up very quickly and they're growing right along. And in this row here, we actually sowed this row three, three weeks ago. Now these, you remember three weeks ago, the weather was nice and cool. It took them a long time to germinate, so they're not that far ahead. We did this deliberately, and it's called succession planting, or planting in intervals. We're planting in two-week intervals so that these will mature long before these do, but with the warm weather, they're pretty close. So as you can see, sowing seeds is as simple as that. It's a wonderful and inexpensive way to grow your vegetables. 
Thank you for joining us today at the New York Botanical Garden. For more information on the Edible Garden and our other exhibits, please visit our website, nybg.org.